Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With. Guys, let's hop right on into this video. We're still doing a series of videos of over and under for every NFL team. And today I have the Carolina Panthers right here lined up for us. Uh, had them have their schedule. Let's hop right into the FanDuel Sportsbook and see how many games they are projected to win. Over or under seven and a half wins for the Carolina Panthers. Let's hop right on into the schedule and let's see. I don't think they're going to win eight games this season. They had number one draft pick. Well, they traded for number one draft pick. They had number 10. Um, but not that bad. Uh, they picked up Adam Thielen uh, from the Minnesota Vikings. Miles Sanders from the Eagles. That's much... Um, Offensive pickups I or notable pickup players I do remember them getting. Uh I don't think they're gonna win week one. It's gonna be a close game if you know the players I said. I think Miles Sanders is injured for a little bit. Uh but I do think Falcon come out hot and win this game. They're gonna be doing everything they can to win this game. Rookie playing his first game too in NFL season, Bryce Young. You know, uh it's gonna be a tough matchup for him. Big good one, but uh let's see if he's really him. And that will determine if the Panthers will win that many games this season. But I do think they're going to lose the Falcons. They're going to lose to the Saints 0-2. This is going to be another tough matchup for the Panthers, but I don't think they're going to win. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Geno Smith. They got the other rookie receiver. And the running backs, Kenneth Walker, is pretty great as well. Um, Seahawks guys going to be a problem for many teams. They're going to be 0-3 so far right here. 0-4 versus the Minnesota Vikings, I believe. Um, depends how they that plays out. Going to be 0 5 versus the Detroit Lions as well. The Lions are a good team. Uh, they have them winning their division. They got them winning over probably 10 and a half games as well, which is going to be tight for them. Um, but I do see the Panthers 0 and 5 right now. 0 and 6 versus the Miami Dolphins. Uh, when are they going to win some games? Uh, they could win that first one. So if they're not 0 and 6, they're going to be 1 and 5 by October 15th. Um, the Houston Texans, uh, this is going to be a close matchup here. And Miles Sanders, Adam Thielen out. The Texans, this is going to be a, a, one of the key matchups for that week. Uh, both rookies, one and two in the draft. I do think Texans will pull that out um, over the Panthers. I do think so. Um, one and two matchup always play well together. Um, I think the last one was Joe Burrow and Chase Young. Uh, I do think number two will, will win because I do think C.J. Strauss should have been number one pick in the draft. Um, so I got them O and six. 1-5, oh, 0-7, 1-6 at this point. And then, wow, this is tough. This is tough right here. Best three quarterbacks in the draft right here are playing each other back-to-back. -back. I don't know. The, te the Texans play the Colts. Definitely, that's a division matchup for years to come. and definitely see those. But to see this back-to-back -back weeks, is going to be nice. Uh, I do think the Colts are going to win this game as well. Um, so, no, no, no. I, I, let's 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 do Panthers. Um, I do think they win their first game versus Anthony Richardson here. Um, they gotta win somewhere, and they could win right here too, or they could beat the Falcons week one. Who knows? Um, versus the Bears, though, uh, depends how the Bears are playing. That's gonna be a close matchup. Um, they traded the team that traded the, the the pick. Bears had number one pick, but the Bears with Justin Fields with the old receivers, they got a good defense. They're gonna run the ball. The Panthers, uh, depends how they play. Bears defense is nice, uh, but I do think the Bears will win. So let's say one and eight. They're gonna be one and nine. I don't think they're gonna beat the Titans. The Titans defense is just too good. They got a great offensive line. They got some other playmakers. Derrick Henry. This is a Titans quarterback situation. I don't think Will Levis is even number two on the death chart. Um, uh, behind Malik Willis, yes. Uh, and then Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill is gonna be the factor. If he's not good this season, they're gonna be the quarterback carousel team. Uh, that I think, but I do think Titans will win this game. I do think Panthers will win this game versus the Bucks, but it depends how the Panthers, Buccaneers, uh, uh, chemistry has played out so far on this. Like by the you know end of the year, December now, it's gonna be a tough division matchup. I do think they might split these games, but I do think Panthers will win um, versus the Bucks. I don't believe the Bucks are gonna do that great. Bryce Young is a better quarterback to me than Baker Mayfield. Uh, I do think they're going to lose again to the Saints. Um, they might uh, split versus the Falcons. So let's say they win right here. Um, so that's about three wins so far. The Colts, the Bucks, the Falcons. They could win this. They could win that. That could be five. They're going to lose to the Packers at the end of the season. It's going to be a good game. Uh, I think the Packers will be a little bit ahead of them during the for the playoff picture as well. They're going to lose this game. 
And maybe, uh, like I said, they're going to split these or win these two as well. Depends how they are. Both teams probably won't even be playing for anything at this point in the year. Uh, I do think Panthers could lose or win this game. If they do, I don't. that's not more than seven games, eight games. They got the Panthers winning eight games. That's so so under, bro. That's under. I mean, going through the schedule right now, we're we deciphering these games out, bro. That's under. If you guys agree, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're a Panthers fan, make sure you comment uh, if they're gonna how good they're really going to do. Uh, they put up zero points in their preseason opener. They lost, and they lost. They lost every preseason game, so that, that indicates to me they're not ready right now. They still got a couple players coming back. Adam Thielen was hurt last year, too. Came back at Miles Sanders. I think it might be hurt or uh, suspended a little bit. But with all that being said, all that into the accounts, um, I don't think they're going to win eight games at all. Um, might not win seven. They can probably win six to five. Uh, but, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got more highlights, news, podcasts, challenges, sports bets coming in as well on the channel. Uh, we got a lot more uh, local uh, highlights we're going to be doing for local high schoolers around the deep. D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, the DMV. Uh, so, guys, make sure you stay tuned for our journey. We're going to try to build the channel up as much as possible. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe again, and we're going to catch you on the next team, and that will be the Chicago Bears. Catch it.